This video will show you how to make a 32 inch Stratistar table topper. You will need one quarter yard each of four different fabrics plus backing and batting. Start by cutting four two inch strips of each of the four fabrics. Take one of each of the four different fabric strips and determine the order you want to sew them. Sew the strips together to get four striped pieces and make sure to press all the seams in the same direction. Take one of the striped pieces and lay it on your cutting board. Using the triangle ruler, place the point of the 90 degree angle of the ruler at the top edge of the fabric and align the bottom with the markings on your ruler. For me, it's the 8 inch block mark or 6 and a quarter inches from top to bottom. Cut the piece out. Turn the ruler to cut a reversed triangle from the other side. Cut one more of each and then cut the small triangles. The first time I made the pattern, I laid out two of the matching triangles and I found that the size needed to be at the 5 inch block mark or 4 eighths inch from the top to bottom. The important thing to remember here is that you need to measure from the outer edges for the small triangles so that the patterns match up with the larger triangles. Cut one small triangle from each edge of the strip. You should be able to get the four large and two small triangles from each strip. Repeat with the other three strips. Lay out the star on your design wall or cutting table as shown. Sew each of the four small triangles to the triangle next to it that does not match. Follow the arrows in the picture. Press the seam to leave the large triangle flat as shown. Sew two sets to each other. The green lines are where I sewed my next seams. Make sure to line up the seams of the strips carefully. Press your seams and trim the little ears or tails. Next, sew the two blocks at the top together and then the two at the bottom. And finally, sew the final seam joining all the pieces. To finish mine easily, I pillowcased it. I laid the batting on my cutting table, then the backing on top of it face up, and finally the star face down on top. I pinned it all the way around, and then I sewed where the green line are, lines are, leaving an opening. I trimmed the excess batting and backing away with my rotary cutter, then trimmed the points to remove the excess material. Turn it right side out and make sure your points are nice and pointy, then slip stitch the open edge to close it. I stitched in the ditch to quilt it. I hope you love yours as much as I love mine.